All right, guys. I got the piece of one inch tubular in place where I need it to weld it. I'm gonna first hand weld it and then go to town on it. Don't forget safety wear, earplugs, and your helmet. Make sure that you have eye protection on. You don't want to be looking at this when you're welding. I have my can of flux right here. This is going to be a long weld on the one side. I want to make sure it's done right. guys now I'm getting ready to weld the bottom side of the uh, one inch tubular for the front support so I've already got this all clear cleaned off from when I ground it down before so I'm gonna get to it now Now that we got that welded on, now we're going to get the piece of angle put on, on there, clamped on, tack welded, and go from there. I'm going to get everything set up, and when I bring you back, we'll be starting to weld. Alright guys, I got this all clamped up where I want it, so now I'm going to go, I'm going to tack weld it in place uh, at several points down along the length of the one inch tube uh, to start with. Uh, the reason being is as the metal heats it pulls so I want to make sure that it doesn't pull itself out of shape to the point where I can't use it so I've got it all clamped in place and now I'm going to be going and tacking it. I'm going to take my clamps off before I manage to melt them, and then I'm going to, then I'm going to tack the front side. I got it all tacked into place now. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to start welding it in. I'm going to cut the video out for heat for the time being because this is going to take me a little bit. And I'll bring you back after I have all the welding parts of this taken care of. Now we're going to start working on the chains. See you soon. Alright guys, 
I have gotten the piece of angle now welded onto the one inch tubular on the front for the catch for the uh, bucket for the scraper edge. Uh, now I have to put some U-bolts in. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is using the blowtorch to torch some holes through the one inch tubular uh, just large enough to stick these these U-bolts uh, that I got here uh, into the holes so I can weld them into place. Uh, bear in mind, I'm not a professional so some of the things I'm doing I know isn't OSHA approved but this is me in my garage, this isn't OSHA so bear in mind that I'm not a professional but I have some experience so if you see something I'm doing that's not safe, I know, let me know. I do I do appreciate pointers and tips. So I'm going to get to it, and you guys can watch. Alright guys, I got the U-bolts in, now I'm going to set up the welder again. Alright guys, I got the U-bolts in, now I'm getting ready to weld them on. I got the welder all set up and turned on. So, I'm set to go, got my can of flux right here. I'm going to get these U-bolts welded in, you can watch. Alright guys, that's it for the time being. I uh, have to get the chains uh, out and have this on the tractor before I cut the chains to length and get the chain binder on it. So I'm going to let this cool off, put a nice coat of paint on it to protect it from the elements. Hopefully it'll last me a while. I tell you, it's a lot cheaper than buying a brand new one uh, to put on the front of the tractor. I can't remember how much they, they wanted at the dealership for it, but it was more than I was willing to pay. Especially when I know I can make something like this for less than three hundred dollars alright guys I decided to grind down some of my welds they seem to be sticking up a little bit in some spots that are undesirable so I am uh, gonna go and take the angle grinder air grinder and grind down some of these welds remember ear protection eye protection you wanna wear it <laughs> Alright guys, here's the finished product. I got it all painted and ground down. 
we got the U-bolt in the front. Here's the piece of one inch tubular attached to the two inch attached to the two inch angle. It's all welded together. U-bolts are welded inside the tube and on top of the tube. And you come over here to the plow frame. It's all welded together. Top and bottom. across there. And then my chains are going to go right through here. So we got it all nice and clean, sanded down, painted, protected from the weather. So anyway, once we get the chains ready to go, I will update. And I'm hoping to have the chains taken care of tonight after work because right now as you can see it's snowing pretty well alright I'll update soon